My guy Noah Centineo is back with a new series coming to Netflix. So I'm here to talk about that right now because we're going to jump into the review of The Recruit. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the new series, The Recruit, coming to Netflix December 16th. So it's eight episodes, an hour each. And honestly, with Noah coming off of Black Adam, and I've been a fan of Noah ever since like the Foster's days, um, and kind of just seeing his career flourish, it was a no-brainer for me. But also, I do love that spy espionage feel um, and aesthetic, uh, because sometimes it, it, it is very action-driven, but sometimes it is about that mystery aspect to it. Um, so I was intrigued with this. I read the synopsis. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what Noah got. And again, just right off of the success of Black Adam as Adam Smasher, who was completely hilarious. I was wondering, what was this role be for him? And to be honest, it is a lot of the same comedic relief of a character. Like, you can't really take him serious. He's, um, you know... Uh, lawyer now at the CIA and they just throw him instantly in the jungle so like he is making mistake after mistake getting himself in trouble left and right along with some kind of grooming happening there other folks kind of setting him up for failure um so you can't help but the root for him but yet the inexperience shows um, and it gets extremely dangerous as well too um, along this journey of his that he has but with this, though, he actually becomes a valuable asset to um, sort of say a person of interest here who isn't quite on everyone's good terms. But with this person, you know, uh, Max, who is played by Laura uh, Haddock, um, the two of them who are polar opposites actually start to bond, to bond and make a sort of a relationship that is intriguing that carries the series because max being um a former asset which now makes her valuable but yet dangerous here and when he discovers that she kind of has him in the targets he wants to investigate why there's a lot of figuring out amongst one another here um and, and with that too you know she's looking to not only expose the agency which that then puts him in a very like, okay, if I can like kind of groove and kind of get in with her, I could kind of figure out what she's up to. But at the same time, realizing him being close to her also makes him a target because again, he was a former asset, which means there's people after her. So her sort of being locked up protects her, protects him. But let's just say she gets out. Then what does that look like? And then, of course, we're talking about eight episodes here. Of course, she's eventually going to get out. Um, and then they kind of go out on uh, a little uh, a little wild journey of, the, of themselves. Now, Noah also executive produced this along with a, a bunch of other names. And honestly, I, I thought this series had very sporadic momentum. I thought the first episode was very good. And the second episode was kind of like, huh? Because it almost felt like a little bit of a reset. It almost felt like a, not a sitcom, but like a, a, you know, one of the daily TV, weekly TV shows um, that, you know, weekly episodic TV shows to an extent. But then towards the end of this is when things really started to get interesting because um, as more and more of the secrets start to get revealed, more and more do we learn more about these characters, the more and more invested I got into it because then the action came and then the aha moments came the development the revelations um and the things started to connect and then when you start adding like you know people of power then the government involved and people being two-faced and whatnot it, it makes you really don't trust anybody while max is easily you know you could easily look at max and say okay she's the bad person she's manipulative she's trying to get what she wants out of owen i'm sorry played by nowhere <laughs> uh, out of owen um but then again he's like is owen playing the game or does he actually is he actually oblivious to what's happening to him and then his superiors where do they kind of fall in line with all this because at points they're just like hey don't trust her then there's points where they're just like no get what you can get out of her you know 
Um, so it is a lot of different things kind of going on. And it gets messy. It gets interesting. And this wasn't one of my favorite series, but I definitely did enjoy it to an extent. I think a season two is well needed. I think um, it will certainly drive a lot more momentum now that things kind of be fleshed out. Because I think they spent a lot too much time really making um, Owen like almost like a liability at times and 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 then after a while you just kind of got annoyed by it because you just say if this guy got so much inexperience why do i keep putting him in these completely dangerous and unwise situations why not just pull him and then yeah it just it just i don't know times like that it was just kind of getting a little bit of annoying but i thought i thought noah was um very dope in this performance again he's not being super versatile in this because he still comes off as charming um soft-spoken um a little bit of the comedic relief there's also a few other characters that are kind of comedic reliefs as well too um especially with the the seriousness of some situations and they definitely did not really tap into that until things actually just got really bad you know sometimes it's like hey we should be taking this just a little more serious this is pretty bad situation and circumstances here you know so um yeah i guess the toning at times is a little wonky but you know i think a lot of people gonna check this out i think noah has a big fan base again coming off of the success of black adam i um, mean i think a lot of people who's been watching his career uh since the fosters much like myself i think that uh yeah you're interested to see what he's gonna do in this but i think for sure season two is well needed and could be much more interesting than this because just a little too much time in establishing that this guy is a liability uh yet at some point he does actually become experience so what does that look like afterwards so oh and not to mention just how bad of a friend we see owen develop to be you know he got these really two good friends and terrence and hannah who's really there for him through thick and thin and it seems like he just loses their trust more and more and more and more and along with some other relationship type of issues that he calls as well too like this man is really like self-destructed his whole life out of what how involved he is with this case and 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 it just doesn't get any easier for him even to the last moment of this season we see him just completely jeopardize everything and everyone who is as close to him since day one for the sake of this case and you know i get it cia so you feel like you know this is, these are the things that are required and demand of you but sometimes you got to find a little bit of balance here and i think that now that folks kind of look at him and seeing how his relationship is starting to develop with max everything comes into question has he been compromised are they actually a thing you know what about you know what he has at home his relationships with his friends and his relationships and stuff like that like you know does his professional life and his personal life start to blend and come in conflict with each other conflict with each other you know it's 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 a it's a crazy journey and the fact that they're able to kind of throw that in there as well you know throw some relations throw some relationship things in there is kind of just making it oh so 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 messy but even with all the mess like truly it's just bad decision after bad decision after bad decision like truly this 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 guy owen is just a bucket of self-sabotaging uh, but even with that still um you can't help but to empathize and sympathize with him um there's a lot of emotional moments with him um he really lays his heart out on the line um to the point and even to the closing moments of this season where we're truly left on a cliffhanger an angle that i did not expect to happen man so many questions but yet i guess we're gonna have to wait till season two to see where this goes because i just was not expecting this last few moments of the episode of the season that uh that they really really uh caught us off guard with so yeah i guess we gotta see but yeah man check out the recruit it's on netflix december 16th jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon